Hell yeah. yeah. Tonight we're going to do Cryptos, uh, Afterburn. So I hope I chose the right song. We saw several different videos. We're not familiar with, you know, India music at all. So let us know. Yeah, I mean, if this isn't the right song, then, you know, you need to get in the comments and let us know. But Afterburner seemed to have the most views. It was 2019, so it was somewhat recent. And from what I gathered, they were all the way back in 2012. So they've been around a little while. So kind of curious to hear some of their bangers, some of their hits. And this sounded like it'd be one of their hits. So we're going to give them a shot. Cryptos, Afterburner. Let's do this. So we found the Indian thrash band. Singers don't have a high pitch voice. Too, but yeah, be like Exodus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, death anger. Yeah. Nuclear assault. Yeah, yeah. solo I just yeah. have to do my YouTube pause otherwise YouTube will not let me post thoughts it's not bad not bad it reminds me of early exodus something like that yeah. uh, very thrash you know I could see people getting in their little pits over in India for this one so weird to hear music that came out recently that's so dated back to what we grew up with when we were teenagers everything comes full circle like this yeah I think they'd be an opening act maybe you know, I don't know. Yeah, they. I mean, it's good. It's not my favorite, but it's it's, it's, it's all right though. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of like Exodus. You know, Exodus was a cool band. I could go jam Exodus and, and watch them play live. They were strong. I mean, hell, Gary Holt ended up filling in for Slayer. So, good musician, but Exodus never kind of reached that big four status of thrash. You know, they they were probably number nine or ten because you know even after the big four, you had Testament. You know, there were other right. thrash bands that were still a little bit above them, even though a lot of people attribute Exodus towards the Big Four. I just don't think they were quite there. I was, I mean, I preferred Flotsam and Jetson and, you know, some nuclear assault. That's kind of who they remind me of, dude, the early. Flotsam? Yeah. yeah. A little bit. It, his vocals remind me of Exodus. Thinking out loud, I guess. Let's hear the solo. <laughs> yeah, let's find out what their guitarist is made of, because it. Nothing else, Thrash has some of the best guitarists out there, so yeah, yeah. let's get back to it. All I need is 
the top hat of a bunch of slash. You could have flipped this video for three out of the night. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you'd have told me this was on Hitbanger's Ball back in the day, I wouldn't have argued. I mean, the lead, the studs, the high top drum Yeah, I mean, it's two different genres of music. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys got plucked right out of the mid-80s. I mean, it, seriously, if you'd have told me that this band opened for Testament and Death Angel, I would have been okay. It's weird, too, because after going through three weeks of Japanese metal, I heard several thrash bands from Japan. But the big difference is these guys seem dated. This straight out of 1985, whereas these Japanese bands like Love Bites and uh, I mean we had Bandmate even had a little bit baby metal some of that stuff that thrash wasn't as dated it was thrash but it's kind of like hearing Megadeth today you know it's thrash but it doesn't sound like P-Cells or whatever this is very dated to me I mean you literally if this was 1985 you wouldn't have fooled me a bit because that's what it sounds like Headbangers Ball. Yeah. If, if this had to come on Headbangers Ball, I wouldn't be shocked at all because it just fills right in the gaps of, you know, Testament, Death Angel, Megadeth, Metallica, Nuclear Assault, Wrath Child America, you name it, there's a million. But they're very Exodus sounding to me. Vocally, guitar wise, not so much. Uh, Gary Holt did do some pretty ridiculous stuff on the guitar, but vocal wise, it reminded me of Exodus. Uh, name escapes me. I can't remember the name of the singer. It'll drive me nuts and I'll remember it later, but that's who he reminds me of. The music itself reminds me of, like I said, Nuclear Assault, uh, Little Flotsam and Jets, and bands like that. But I liked it. It was good. You know, glad Indy isn't a thrash scene because that's cool. I'm sure they're having a good old time because. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, this is the kind of stuff I would have gone to the show to see. Oh, yeah. Now there's probably late teens, early 20-year-old Indian kids out there getting to enjoy this, so can't argue it. But that's it for this one. Get in our comments. Let us know what you think of Cryptos and if Afterburner was the right song for us to listen to. If not, give us some ideas of some other ones that we might like better. Who knows? But like, share, subscribe. Do the thing. As always, until the next time. Come at us, bro!